there is a war going on between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Soviet Union dismemberment meant that these two republics became independent and a territory within Azerbaijan was called Nagorno Karabakh which was almost 100% of Armenian descent while the Soviet Union was there it was a common citizenship you could travel in between but when the country broke up the land grab began and the people of Nagorno Karabakh wanted to be an independent state which they were not allowed to to cut the story short now this conflict in 2020 has again arrived, with Turkey entering the field supporting Azerbaijan that has launched an attack on uh, the Armenian enclave and Armenia itself with a declaration that we will take over this territory no matter what. How do you think the Pakistani Muslim or the Indian Muslim or I'll keep the Arabs or the Turks out, how do you think we should be judging this? Is it possible that we judge our support based on the merits of the case or our loyalty to the Ummah? So why do uh, the, these 50-year-old Pakistani Canadians who've lived here all their lives show their loyal, uh, their favoritism towards Azerbaijan, not Armenia. After all, Canada is to a certain degree supporting the Armenians, but no, what determines our support is absolutely nothing to do with what Canada does or what measures as the truth. We will go and support someone simply because they are Muslim. Here's a case of Armenia, an ancient land, a great civilization, the tiny as they may be, surviving a genocide in the early 20th century by the Turkish uh, Khilafat and the uh, young Turks to the extent that these Armenians had to scatter around the world. There are Armenians in Calcutta, there are Armenians in Karachi, there are Armenians in Tehran, they are in Africa, in the United States, everywhere. Because a million of them were slaughtered, the survivors had to live over there. Who do we support? The Turks who carried out the genocide. That is also not unique. We recently had the Arab Janjaweed massacre black Africans, Muslims, the Darfuris. I support, well, when it comes to Muslim versus Muslim, the light-skinned Muslim. We will never go on the other side. We will never ever stand for what the truth is. Yet, we beat around our chest saying that we are Muslims. Religion of peace and truth. Is it peace and truth that you support an aggression on a people that you try to wipe out from the face of this earth. And so today when there are people crying out for justice and the truth, where we living in Canada or the United States or Europe could be Muslims who would inherit the concept of justice from what Western civilization has created, we still revert back to Adle Jahangir because we think that is what is the truth. Damn the residents, the original residents of any land. We are always correct because we are Muslims. And then we complain that people view us with suspicion. Can you imagine if, if Muslims who live in Western societies would stand up with their governments whether it is France, whether it is Germany, Italy or Greece and say Turkey is wrong in carrying out a massacre of Armenians or letting ISIS get into Armen uh, Armenia? Is that even a remote possibility? I would hope that there would be, but to be very fair, that's highly unlikely. That's just me being 
a silly optimist. There's nothing else. Because even those Muslim children of Pakistani ancestry or Indian ancestry who were born in the West have their loyalties not to the land that gave them all the rights and freedoms and intellect to grow. They will always back the forces of darkness who come from medieval times and whose goal is to eliminate all non-Muslims on the face of this earth and the, give them the ability, themselves the ability to lie about that and deny that, no, that's not the case. I hope some of you might come to your senses and see that in this dispute between Turkey and Armenia and Azerbaijan, the truth and facts suggest that ordinary people must support Armenia. Thank you. Next time, Khuda Hafiz.